Hello, everybody. Before we get into the episode, I did want to make note that this episode was originally recorded as episode 20. I had an issue with a corrupt video file in episode 19, but you can see a lot of the work that was done in the previous episode in this current episode. Some of the notable work that was done was with the iron train station. I added an unloader for the other side of the train so that it can unload and load e um, easier and quicker because we were having issues with the iron throughput just because of the train travel time. Another thing that I did that we will be continuing in this episode is add a lot of the infrastructure and flame turrets to the uh, expanded wall. Um, so I was laying out flame turrets and ammo belt and gun turrets most of the episode. Um, we will be continuing that work in this episode, but I just wanted to make note of that once again. Uh, so from here on, we'll just continue the original episode, and I hope you enjoy it. Hello everybody, this is Diloop and welcome back to another episode of Factorio Death World. Last episode we were working on our little defense here. I went ahead and grabbed some gears, crafted up some inserters, and uh, we already have power pulls on us, but we just need to kind of continue on our route. Uh, we also need to give power to all of these, so that's on the agenda. Uh, we can just do that. Yeah, so those, the flame turrets do have like a weird little lag time. Uh, we will also need to actually bring power in. Uh, I think the best way to do that is just to bring this out to here-ish. I don't have enough steel and iron to be making large power poles at the moment, so we're still on wooden ones. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, and that'll mean that the uh, turrets get refueled, which can help with the uh, defense if they need to. <clears throat> and we shall continue on. Power pull. Crap, that doesn't really work, does it? <laughs> I just realized that. This is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's say, yeah, let's just retake a look at this. So this has to come like this, because it's got to have the inserter there. I can just take a power pole. Um... This one, I could throw a splitter here. And just bring it down and around. No, that's not going to work. Not to mention it's very, very messy looking. Let's put it, if we put it up in here, what happens with the long armed? I can move it one further forward. Oh, I can't. And that has to be there. So I'd have to put this here. With the long arm inserter. Like, it really needs to be right there. What if we just don't have this one? Or even just put it right here instead. Then I use the long arm inserter, and it's just a matter of doing that. Okay, I'm good. I'm good with that one. It's it's a mess right here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, we just need undergrounds over here. Didn't we get a majority of these in? Oh yeah, there we go.
How did I run out? I thought I had a lot of those. There we go. All right, that's our defensive wall right there. Um, if we so decide to, we can always bring the wall in or out if we need to, and moving this isn't really that hard. Um, but I notice here, like, the wall does take quite a bit of damage, more so than I like. Uh, so I may add a third layer of wall on the inside, just so it gets a little bit more buffer. Um, that way they have to break through two sections before they actually get to anything. We do still need to get more turrets out as well, and flame turrets. <clears throat> and pipe, and belt, and all that. Uh, let's make, I think I'm only missing one regular turret. Two. Little flame turret. So we're missing this one. Where's all that ammo at? Well, it's coming. These really don't need piercing rounds. So we're going to take them out. I put them there for a little bit, but they're not needed. All right, so we got two more turrets uh, and another flame turret for the end there, and then I can just continue the pipe up to the top, and then that's the whole first section of the wall done. So that goes there. Turret goes here. With the inserter there. Very nice. All right, let's continue this. So this goes all the way up to almost max. Yes, yeah, so we do. We we do want turrets here. I think that'll be the last turret for a little bit because we got to get around the water. And this will be the first one. Uh, no, it'll need to go out a little bit further. How's that going to line up? Can I make one more? Yeah. I think it's a 2 by 4 We'll see. Hurry up and craft. <clears throat> I haven't even researched landfill. Well, this this turret can go on the other side of it. That's fine. All right, let's just connect these since I have that placed. Go ahead and get these done as well. And I'm out of iron again, just like that. Okay, well, it doesn't need ammo for right now. We just give it regular, or the piercing rounds. Uh... I think that's the only section on the wall that they actually broke through here. So we should be able to repair it. Very nice. Uh, so then... a matter of bringing all the pipe out again. I'll need to go grab iron and grab belt as well. I did not do this right.
Okay, so that turret did actually shoot. So we get that there, that there, that there. Eventually, there will be a turret and a flame turret in every one, not just the, uh, not ev not just every other one. Uh, for right now, to conserve on the flame turrets themselves, we're putting it at every one. Uh, and this is actually needs to be one here. So let's grab some iron, steel, uh, maybe a couple more flame turrets to get those out. More belt, probably. No, we're good on belt. Pipe, we, we need more pipe, though. There's some more steel. There's some more iron. Look at that, beautiful. That's what I like to see. Uh, grab more engines. Can we just... Six more flame turrets. Six more of those. And then I should be able to make plenty of undergrounds. Need more iron. <clears throat> Alright. And pipe. Pipe is the last thing. We're always short on pipe. So, I was thinking about how slow this is actually going, and I think part of the death world is less of, like, launching a rocket as quick as possible, and more of, like, it really does slow it down a lot by being in Marathon, and by having to defend against so many biters. So, I think we're still doing fairly well, like, maybe I could be a little bit further along, but I don't, I don't think it's that bad for having, like, 30 minute episodes and where we're at now, I don't think we're doing too, too terrible. Um, so this one just goes here. Cool. I have an extra one. Interesting. That's fine. Uh, we're not going to have inventory to insert those gun turrets, though. Uh, let's just throw this down. Throw that in there. Uh, what else? <clears throat> throw these in there. That'll be good. Oh no, we're still we are still making flame turrets. <laughs> I really didn't need them right now. Are we missing a gun turret there? Yeah, we are. I'll go, I'll go get that in a sec. Okay, so they are slowly breaking through that wall. We will need to set up better defenses over there at some point as well. Which I'll probably go with this same method and just push that wall out again. Because uh, it seems to be fairly good. I mean, it hasn't really been pressure tested, but it's holding up so far for what we got. Like this section, not e the wall's not even hardly damaged. Once we get robot roboports out here, you have like your own little dedicated robot network that only controls the wall with some chests that insert uh, repair packs, and the wall keeps itself repaired. It will be nice once we get this upgraded to the better fuel, though. Right now, it's fairly inefficient. Uh, this is not going to be able to reach all the way there. Let's take it to there for now. gonna work. Oh, 
that's not this has to get moved up by one can actually place this belt right that'd be great okay so that's good uh, let's run up our power Not super efficient power lines, I know. Good. Stack inserters are done. Let's get a sulfur processing. That's going to be the next step before blue science. And we are, now that we're getting defenses done and, and expanding, we should be get, able to get uh, that blue science going fairly quickly. <clears throat> uh, a wall got destroyed at the oil outpost, apparently. I can't really see what's going on over there, though there's no radar I need to get tool belt as well I could use the extra inventory space I want to figure out what kind of what turrets missing over here also this wall is not even finished There's no turret missing. Oh, there's a whole flame turret missing here. There we go. That looks much better. I'm liking our new border wall. Picturing this all the way around, and it, it works really well as well. Walls are immune to fire damage, so they don't damage them, just in case you guys were wondering. Um, they do create pollution, so it's only making our pollution worse. But they seem to work. If we watch here. <laughs> like, they work pretty good. Here's another wave incoming. They always miss the first couple of biters, though, because there's a little bit of a lag. But it doesn't take them long to track onto it. And with turrets there. Yeah. I'm liking it. Um, let's throw a radar down here, I think. So that we can just get radar coverage. Walls looking very good, fairly good. I think the next part is to just come up here and connect this bit. Uh, which we can run the oil pipe up is there as well and just basically do the same thing up here and then once we get to it we'll do it same thing down here uh, although I think I did decide that I don't need I don't need to go all the way out here I think going to here where this oil is and just extending this wall straight up would work better uh, especially since how many how many cliffs are here and we don't want it too big because routing all the uh, oil around is going to be a nightmare but we're looking fairly good uh, so I'm gonna grab as many walls as I can maybe get rid of some of the stone and uh, we'll see if we can't build out that northern wall and finish the southern one as well there's a lot of them <clears throat> Let's finish off the southern part of it first, I think. I still don't have a car, do I? No, I don't. 
Let's do this. Uh, let's get rid of this wood. And uh, you know what? I don't need this. I'll go ahead and keep, hold on to this one. Oh, I have a car. Oh, you know what? I'll take that wood after all. This will help us get around a little bit quicker. Let's go to the northern wall. We have this. This is done. Squared away, I think. Um, I'll need a radar up here as well. So I should probably craft one while I go. <clears throat> it's got a nice clear path to run the car through as well. We can even make this concrete around. Let's sort throw of a radar here. And let's go to the northern section. Of course, I run into the only rock in the middle of everywhere. grenades left. I'm debating on just burning the forest down. Let's do it. Bye bye forest. might help us. <laughs> I just don't want to have to break so many trees. There will always be a couple, but it's better at least. And screw the pollution. trees of course there are why wouldn't there be more trees the trees are everywhere here just to get this placed in I feel like I should just kill this base right here I don't know if I have enough stuff though maybe lighting the, the forest on fire might help
that lined up? Yeah, it is. It's just a optical illusion. That's how the cliffs work. It's like an illusion. It, it, they're actually not raised in any way. They just look like it. This factorial is completely flat. So all the textures are just angled the right way to make it look 3D. It's actually all sprites. some fish. I don't know why he's running away. Come back here. What's well, being destroyed? Ah, oh, they're chewing through the northern wall. That's fine. Ah, uh, maybe that's not fine. No, they'll hit these defenses eventually. We're going to leave all our inner defenses up until we're ready to pull them down, so we should be alright. <clears throat> Oh, big biters. They're here. We got big biters. Die base, die. Well, that sucks. Our evolution got to big biters. And that's normally one of the big walls that you run into in terms of military tech. So, we'll have to deal with that eventually. I think it's actually the big spitters that are the major problem, but I'm not sure. I also don't think I'm going to have enough walls to finish this. That's fine. Yep, they chewed through that. How's our pollution looking? Yeah, see, that's just main base pollution. Hey guys, uh, so the video kind of cut for a second there. Um, I ran out of storage space on my hard drive. Uh, it's a two terabyte hard drive and it filled up because I'd never delete old recordings. Um, but it is about that time to end up the episode anyways. I want to quickly go over what our plans are for the next few episodes. Um, I think we're going to finish this border wall to the north here as a priority. Uh, get it all defended up and then we'll get this one done. After that, we'll focus on blue science getting all of that squared away. Uh, once we have this, we can redesign the base a little bit better to support blue science. We are running out of copper. Um, so I'll need to get more miners down on that patch as well as possibly get this patch up and running and get these rail lines uh, a little bit better sorted out. Right now this is very temporary. Um, but once we get this wall up here, it gives us a lot more space to play with and that's key right now is space. Um, I don't like building super compact like this, so getting that big border wall up and running is pr like priority number one. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to check out my Twitch. Link is in the description. I stream there on the weekends, and I will see you guys next time.